Good afternoon, and this is an update on my DIY lithium iron phosphate charger via USB-C. So in my previous video, I had it just all bare boards and everything, but I've now put it into a J-Car Jiffy box. As you can see, there we go, so it goes in there. Um, and I just drilled two holes on each side and I 3D printed the um, P, the PD USB-C decoy board and just taped it up so it can't be changed easily and it's a lot more uh, durable now. Uh, as you can see, uh, we're feeding 20 volts into it and hardly any, any amps because there's no load attached to it. Uh, as you can see here, it's um, set to output 15 volts. And the reason for that is I now have a diode on the positive line. So the problem was if I plug this into the battery before the USB power source, it would back feed power into it and it wouldn't play very nicely. So the diode just prevents power going in the other direction. So this little silver band here means I can only feed power this way. Power can't come back through that way on the positive line. And I just use a, a, um, a generic Wago connector to join, up, join that up. And as you can see, I've used some heat shrink sleeving, which in another video of mine, the JCAR versions didn't work properly, but this generic Amazon branded version or well not Amazon but from Amazon these work fine so I'm quite happy with that probably do another video on that shortly and I have put it onto a XT60 connector so I can um, make up other connectors depending on what I want to charge so I've set it to 15 volts not 14.6 because there is a voltage drop when using a diode and I've checked that here uh, with my multimeter to make sure that we are still outputting 14.6. So if there wasn't a diode, if I set 14.6 here, it would be 14.6 here. But I have to account for the voltage drop when using the diode. So there we have it. This is my DIY USB-C lithium-ion phosphate charger.